Happy Thursday, book nerdigans. I'm Lindsay Cummings, and I just turned in the sequel to The Murder Complex. Oh man, I am so tired right now. But I'm super stoked about this. I am so excited, and so I thought I would do um, a book haul to celebrate because what's better than book hauls? Am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm talking about books. So there's a couple of books that I ordered from Barnes & Noble this week, and um, there's a lot of books that I wish I could have, but they're just so freaking expensive. Why, why do I have a newlywed budget? The first book is Plus One by Elizabeth Fama, 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 but Fama. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this book is about, but one, the cover like got me. All I know is that the world is split between night dwellers and day dwellers. It's not vampire stuff, it's like futuristic. But anyways, just buy it because look, and just look. Mm. The next one I've been super, super stoked about reading for probably like two years now since I saw that it came out in the UK. Um, it's Acid by Emma Pass. They sold her life, now she wants it back, which is like, uh, yes. There's more about that, but, but that's just, that's what you get because I'm tired. But look, look at her, she's so fierce. Next one comes out. 1014, um, and it's by Michael Grant. It's Messenger of Fear, which is his new series. I'm so excited about this. Uh, the tagline is, if you are wicked, the messenger will find you. Gone by Michael Grant is like one of the first series that I totally fangirled over. It was awesome. I loved it so much. Oh my gosh. It says the messenger sees the darkness in human hearts and he like goes after these people. So excited. It's kind of small, so that kind of makes me sad to be like this big. Next one is Killer Instinct by S.E. Green. Uh, this comes out in May. I already read this. Um, it's about a girl that is like obsessed with serial killers because she might be one herself. Um, it's really, really creepy to the point where like I had to put it away for a little bit, but then I was like, okay, I have to know what happens. So I picked it back up and it was a really fun story. Totally, totally different from what's out there. Next one is After the End by Amy Plum. This is about this girl who lives in Alaska and she thinks that the world outside of her tribe is in ruins. Suddenly all of her people disappear while she's out on this hunting trip and she soon discovers that everything she's ever known has been a lie and the world outside of her small tribe place in Alaska is not destroyed. It is perfectly intact. This one is Landry Park by Bethany Hagen. Uh, this is one of my 2014 YA Valentine's um, partners. We have a blog where we all talk about our writing stuff and we all have books coming out this year. This one is already out in stores. Downton Abbey meets The Selection. It's a dystopian tale of love and betrayal. But from what I read, um, I've only read like the first couple chapters, but it didn't really feel dystopian to me. Kind of fantastical in a way. I think if you really like um, like the kings and queens and that kind of stuff, I think you'll be pretty pleased with this one. And the cover is freaking awesome, man. I'm so excited to finish this. The last one is The Walled City by Ryan Groudon. Groudon, 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 no, Ryan. Ryan. She also has a wolf hybrid, so we have like, you know, wolf, wolf pact going on between the two of us. Bald City, oh my gosh. This book, this book, oh, mm. Oh, it was so good, and she's now one of my most favorite authors ever, like, no doubt. Um, there are three rules in the Walled City. Run fast, trust no one, always carry your knife. Right now, my life depends completely on the first. Run, run, run. That is the tagline. This is actually based on a real city in Hong Kong um, where human trafficking goes on. And story is told in three different points of view. And oh my gosh, it, the, it just freaking, the writing, it blew me away, everything about it. I'm gonna do like a full book rave on this later, but it was so, so, so good. I cannot, I can't say enough good things about it. And it's a pretty like honking big book, man. And I read it, I couldn't stop. I have deadlines and I just kept reading because all I wanted to do was be in this world that she created and these characters are fascinating and it kind of reminded me of Moulin Rouge and everything about it. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It comes out in November and I'm pissed that y'all have to wait this freaking long for this book because it was my world for like three days. And I ugh, calm myself down after that. And right now I'm currently reading Fire and Flood by my girl, Victoria Scott, AKA one of my buddies. Um, 
this book is awesome. I think y'all are gonna love it. Uh, it's pitched as like the Hunger Games meets the Amazing Race. There's this girl, Tella, whose brother is sick and she gets this opportunity to join this thing called the Brimstone Blade. It's this race across like four ecosystems and every contender gets a creature called a Pandora and they're kind of like Pokemon animals. They have magical powers, which is just awesome. I am loving it. It's so fun. I'm only like halfway through, but I've been flying through it. It's a fun, quick read and I am so proud of her for writing this. Uh, this is already out, so go buy it now. Look at this cover, man. And it's actually been updated since then. There's like water drops. So that was my book haul for the week. I have a lot of ebooks too that I've been reading, but my brain is fried and I still have to turn in the Balance Keeper sequel like this weekend. Someone help me. Seriously, so someone help me. Like, I'm, I'm begging you. No, it's, it's good. I wanted this. I wanted this life and it's a good life. I love writing. I love writing. I love writing books. Just a daily reminder. I gotta tell myself that. I'm sure that every author does. Anyways, uh, what are you guys reading right now? Did you get any good books this week? Um, let me know in the comments and subscribe. Okay.